Minnesota Fine Vikings had some dubious safety depth behind the best safety tandem in the NFL in Harrison Smith and Anthony Harris. Uh, they did elevate uh, converted cornerback Nate Metters to the 53, but they finally bolster things by re-signing, don't call the comeback, uh, former Vikings legend George Aloka. He and Zimmer obviously go way back. I think it's a smart signing, especially since the Vikings, I mean, Stephen Parker, that didn't work out. Josh Metellus. Eh, Brian Cole, that certainly didn't work out as well. So now the Vikings uh, do have a, a little bit uh, a veteran, knows the system, been here, done that, got in the T-shirt uh, behind 22 and 41. So let's talk about the pride of Boise State today. Uh, so uh, George Loca, he's only 30 years old. Seems like he's been around forever, uh, but 6'4", 225, uh, 2012, a fifth-round pick uh, by the Bengals out of the Boise State University. Uh, ended up playing and uh, starting the bulk of six seasons uh, for the Bengals Cincinnati, starting 76 games. Uh, spent his first two seasons of his career with Zimmer, hence the uh, initial chemistry. Uh, recorded 343 tackles, had nine picks, and broke up 32 passes. Primarily played strong safety, uh, but played you know, a little free safety as well. Uh, also a little bit in the slot, you know. So, oh, the big nickel is coming back. He's taking J. Ron spot finally. <clears throat> Uh, Bengals decided to part ways with them uh, early on in training camp in 2018. Uh, then remember, bog out that George, that's George Aloka's music. Because 2018, that was really up in flux because he had Harrison Smith, best safety in the league, my money, no problem. Also, Andrew Sendejo. I, I never thought that Dejo was quite right after the Michael Thomas dirty ass hit in the Minneapolis Miracle game. I mean, just it just never was. And then Anthony Harris hadn't become Anthony Harris yet. J. Ron was sort of on the outs with Zimmer, was sort of in the doghouse at the time. So Aloka was signed in 2018 in between the second and third preseason game. Uh, J. Ron Kerr stepped up in preseason, really balled out. Uh, and then once Sandejo went down, everyone thought, all right, well, it's time. You know, it's time for Harrison Smith and George Aloka, best safety do in the league let's go Woo! but no it's 41 is anthony harris and then i was like oh anthony harris is the best covered safety in the nfl let's go let's go and yeah, that was a weird season too because the vikings for the first time in zimmer's career carried five safeties uh they'd always carried four before that they carried two now but yeah uh and uh, harris Obviously broke out, became a star. Andrews Dejo's gone. Uh, J. Ron uh, carved out his uh, role as the third safety. And George Aloka, he was a good teammate. He was a good soldier. Uh, he didn't complain. He didn't gripe. Uh, and he probably would have reason to, right? Because like, Zimmer's like, hey, come here. Come here. Come here. I got a role for you. And then, No. And then you're just passed over twice, but uh, did play 114 snaps on defense, mainly in uh, garbage time, uh, mostly at special uh, uh, strong safety as well as in the slot. Uh, did record 240 snaps at special teams, uh, had 16 total tackles as well as forced to fumble uh, against the Jets. Uh, was in training camp with the Cowboys 2019. Uh, did not end up making the rooster, uh, and that was all that she wrote. Uh, now uh, had had a workout with the Vikings before final 53 man roster was set mainly just touching base. Uh, but now, uh, after the bring him in after week one, as a vested veteran, his contract is probably league minimum, actually guaranteed. It's the league minimum. Uh, is not guaranteed. So they can go week to week there. And, uh, it, it's smart at this point because, you know, say poopeth did hitteth the fanath, uh, and he did have to replace Harrison Smith or Anthony Harris, Nate matters. Do you really trust him? Josh Metellus? Yeah. So you do have a guy not too long in the tooth, familiarity with the system for days, uh, can plug in, probably better at strong safety than his free safety, but e either way, uh, you're fine with him. As well as, I mean, coverage-wise, if you want to work in some of those three safety looks that you had with J. Ron Curse and the big nickel, probably makes sense with him. Um, they can also work in linebacker Troy Dye, face face uh but you do like a loca better than nate metters or uh certainly josh metella so uh it, it makes sense and it's one of those just roster procedural moves where uh, the plan all along was to have him on the team long term but don't do it until after week one because of the contract and blah 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 but either way i'm glad that they finally checked that box uh so hopefully a loca plus his knowledge of coverage can help things out with the safeties as well as uh certainly with the cornerbacks as well and if we're going down this path why not bring in uh, former Vikings assistant defensive backs coach Terrence Newman? He's only 42. Frankly, he could play better than Holton Hill. I would certainly take that. But either way, welcome back, George uh, Aloka. Get your 23. Jer I, I don't know what number he's going to wear. Remember, he was uh, originally 28 after the Vikings. Ever Anyways, all right, so your thoughts, George Aloka, back in purple. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work? Pull us on the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.